So I had no time pre to prepare for this, so be prepared. Uh, my name is Laura Lacey. I'm the owner of Attic Brewing Company with my husband, Todd. Um, yes. We're opening a brewery in Germantown. Um, I do have to note that I just came from another brewery opening, so I've had a couple of beers already tonight, <laughs> which I think is going to make my story even better. Um, a couple other things about me. I've only been blonde for three weeks. <laughs> Never colored my hair before. I've been a brunette. Um, and I'm a very ambitious person. So we're opening a brewery, um, and I'm, a, I'm ambitious. And I think those are important things for you to know. Um, so I'm going to take you guys back to last summer. Uh, me and Todd were in the middle of a WeFunder campaign where we were raising money for our brewery. And Anytime someone emailed us to do an event, I said yes. So we did way too many events. I can't remember which Saturday this was, but it was a particular Saturday that we had three events planned. The first event was uh, the Germantown Running Club asked us to set up a beer garden for them. The second event was the Germantown Special Services District was having the Great Road Festival. And the third was a neighbor who emailed me about an adoption. Breweries are always um, partnering with animal shelters for adoptions. I was like, yes, we're not even open and we're already doing this. This is awesome. Saturday morning comes, Todd has off of work. The two of us pack up enough kegs for all three events and we show up in Vernon Park, ready for this beer garden. All of the neighbors take off for their run. We're super excited to get them beers. They do their, I think it was one or three miles, probably three miles. They do their three mile run and they come back and nobody wants to have a beer. <laughs> and I am devastated, begging them, like, we have beer over here if you want one. But people weren't used to having beer in Vernon Park in Germantown. So they didn't want beers. And I was like, that's cool. We have this second event. So we pack everything up from Vernon Park, and we move it literally half a block onto Chelton Avenue, where the Great Road Festival is taking place. It's our first time participating in this event. We're a new brewery opening in Germantown. We're super excited. Um, the organizer, David, shows up, and I'm like, where do you want us to be? We're like so happy to be here. And he's like, oh, we have a tent for you. It's over here. We walk up to the tent, and there's a table inside the tent and then all these tables tipped sideways around the tent, and the entire tent is covered in caution tape because they were so nervous about having alcohol in Germantown <laughs> that they didn't want anyone who gets alcohol to leave the tent. <laughs> but they didn't realize that nobody came into the tent <laughs> because it was completely wrapped in caution tape and looked like a crime scene. But we're there, and we're trying our best to serve beer to Germantown, and we're out on the street. Turned out to be a great event. This last event, this adoption event, um, I told the neighbor, hey, I'm not sure if we'll have enough beer to do the event. I'll let you know. So it's like maybe 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock in the afternoon, and Todd and I are exhausted already, like we always are. We're opening a business. We go down to Earth Bread and Brewery, grab a couple beers and pizza, and are deciding, do we want to do this last event or don't we? So we're sitting there, we get our you know, bellies full, and I'm like, you know what, this is great. There'll be dogs there, it'll be exciting. Um, we have the beer because no one drank beer in the morning, so let's do it. So we put it in our, I email Melissa. Uh, I tell her, hey, we actually have beer, we're gonna come. We put it in the GPS, we're driving through Germantown, we show up, and the whole time we're driving, I'm joking with Todd, I know, I, I'm too ambitious, I take on too much, but maybe we'll leave with a dog. Like, this would be awesome. <laughs> and so we get there, and I'm giddy. Like, we, I haven't had a dog in 20 years. I'm, like, super excited. And I have my second wind. This is going to be great. So we pull up, and Melissa's brother comes out. And he's like, hey, like, let me help you carry your stuff. I'm like, ha, ha, ha. I tell the same corny joke, like, we might leave with a dog. Ha, ha, ha. And he's like, oh, okay. Grab some kegs, we walk it in. We're setting up our table, and uh, we meet this cool guy next to us who's pouring mead. 
And I joke with him like, oh, are you gonna leave with the dog too? <laughs> and uh, he's just like, huh? And uh, then Melissa comes up. I've never met this woman. She just emailed me about this event. And she's like, I'm so happy that you're here. My husband and I are so excited to bring baby Jade into our family. <laughs> and I'm immediately like, oh my God, this is not a dog adoption. This is an adoption for a child. How many people did I tell that corny line to about leaving with a dog? That's my story. <laughs>